Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Laplace Transform Tutor. Let's go ahead and get some additional practice with inverting Laplace Transforms, and then off in the next section we'll finally use all this stuff to solve some real problems. So let's continue building our skills here. What if you had a function of s that looked like uh, 1 over s squared plus 3, and you wanted to find its inverse Laplace Transform? So the first thing you would do is you go over here and see if you can find something similar. Well, this isn't quite right because what we have in our problem is 1 over s squared uh, minus a number or plus a number. So obviously this is not squared, so this cannot be used. This, for the same reason, doesn't match it. This doesn't really match it. Although we do have 1 over s squared, we have a minus uh, or a plus 3 in our problem, so this doesn't work. Um, this clearly does not work because we have, uh, in our problem, we have 1 over s squared plus something. We don't have an s on the top. So we get down to the bottom. This kind of does look like something we might be able to use because we have a 1 on the top and s squared plus uh, 3. But it doesn't quite look like beta squared, so we're not sure if, if it works, but I think we're going to be able to use this. So if, let's just kind of write that down. What we're going to use, I'll just write it down so you have it in front of you. Uh, Laplace transform inverse of 1 over s squared plus beta squared. And we just say that's 1 over beta sine beta t. All right. Well, what you need to do is just recognize that in this particular problem, to make this look like this, what we're basically going to say is that beta is equal to the square root of 3. If we assume that beta is equal to the square root of 3, then what we have here actually is beta squared, which matches exactly with what we have here. So it doesn't have to be a perfect square in there. I know it's pretty obvious if you see a 4 there or a 9, then you can clearly say, well, beta is 2 or beta is 3. But if you have any number here, you can just take its square root and call it beta. Um, and it'll still match the form of what we have over here. All right, so knowing that, that, then we can just write the answer down directly. And we can say, well, if this is true, then 1 over square root of 3, meaning 1 over beta here, times the sine of square root of 3 times t. And you can put some parentheses here to show that that's all inside of there. And this is the answer. 1 over square root of 3 sine of square root of 3 times t. Again, we're just comparing it to what we see over there and going accordingly. Now let's do the next problem here. Let's take the inverse Laplace transform of the following larger function, 5 over s plus 1 minus 6 over s squared plus 4 um, plus 1 over s to the fourth. So this is a linear combination. This is a large function. They're linked by pluses and minuses. And we already know from before that we can apply the inverse transform to each term separately. So don't worry too much that it's a long string of terms. We can apply